Panelist Podcast. Kyle here with even Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah, I call heads and A for Pierre. Okay, so we're doing trivia night, and this is gonna go great because we have possibly the most knowing person <laughs> in my life regarding comics. And Pierre, actually, I was gonna say the most unknowing, but. I think Dimitri has fallen to that rank. I want to say in the past couple episodes, Pierre has made a huge jump in his comic knowledge. I am very he, proud of Pierre. He's doing a lot of reading. It's all modern like me. Nothing wrong with that. Pierre, I think you ranked up. So you might have some slight competition, Jeremiah. Probably. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. So I'm going to explain the rules. I'm going to do odd and even. Pierre, since you're considered the underdog, you will choose odd or even. Even. The way it's going to work, I'm going to ask you the question. You're going to try and answer. If you get it wrong, you have one more chance, but with multiple choice. Getting it right without multiple choice is two points. Getting it right with multiple choice is one point. If you get it wrong for both of those, it goes to your opponent. That leaves them with three remaining answers to steal one point. So you don't want to screw up because you're basically handing them a one in three chance to steal your point. Is anyone else following this? I have no idea. Pierre, you are even. It means you go second. I said odd. Jeremiah. Yes. <laughs> what superhero was born with the curse of Kordax? The curse of Kordax? If you are caught looking in the wrong direction, you will lose a point. I want to say Juggernaut, but I'm definitely wrong. You are definitely wrong. Okay. Multiple <laughs> choice. Ghost Rider, Captain Marvel, Aquaman, or Hawkman? Isn't it Hawkman? Incorrect. No. Pierre. Ooh, there's a buzzer. There's a there's buzzer. A, that probably okay. my software is going to cut out. Pierre, would you like me to repeat the question? Yes. What superhero was born with the curse of Hordex? I'm going to eliminate Ghost Rider. Captain Marvel, Aquaman. Let's not take all night here. We're on question Captain one. Captain <laughs> Marvel or Aquaman. Now, it does sound like a space thing. I'm going to go with Aquaman. I'm reading Jeremiah's face right now, and I'm feeling like he's grinning too hard. Oh, yes. It is Aquaman. <laughs> I remembered it after I fucked. Said Hawkman. <laughs> when I started saying I was going to go space, you started smiling and I was like, oh, I don't Shit. know. <laughs> Hold on. Born of royal Atlantean blood Aquaman, the infant, Prince Orin, was abandoned for having blonde hair, which according to the Atlantean myth signifies the curse of Cordex. I didn't even know you had like a disease. Well, I mean, it's not. It's, not... it's, like, it's, it's got like blonde a, hair. He's just just moving around with uh, STDs. <laughs> Oh. So, Pierre, you're off to a strong start because question two is yours, and you've already gotten a point. It's easy work. What supervillain was created when Emil Blonsky accidentally exposed himself to a concentrated burst of gamma rays? Abomination. So, yes, a spy attempting to steal the research of Dr. Bruce Banner accidentally exposed himself. That is three points, Pierre, zero points, Jeremiah. He exposed and it was Jeremiah's himself. question. He did expose yeah, himself. Yeah, he exposed himself to gamma radiation. Oh. Number three, just the year mentioned in this, I imagine. Jeremiah is going to get this one. What? Chester Gould? It's Chester Gould. Do you want me to stop Gould? you right there and just say Dick Tracy? He jumped ahead. <laughs> it's like you hit the buzzer and answered it. So the question is, <laughs> what Chester Gould character made his first appearance in the Detroit Free Press on October 4th, 1931? Yes, Jeremiah. Thank you for not letting me finish the question. <laughs> it is Dick Tracy. <laughs> What, did Chester Gould only create one thing? Like, uh, no, but he's is... most famous for creating Dick Tracy. That was all right. <laughs> I never would have gotten that. Question number four. What superhero grew up on the planet Tamaran? There's like nothing I can get out of Jeremiah on this one. <laughs> Hold on. Tamaran. It rhymes with tambourine. Think but... of the word it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tamaran, tambourine. It's probably a musical planet. I'm going to have to go with Nebula. Okay, so that's incorrect. So the multiple choice. <laughs> Hawk Girl, Ultra Boy, the Silver Surfer, or Starfire. It's probably not Hawkgirl. And the next one is... Yeah, we're not playing poker here. <laughs> I, I, you aren't, but I might be. Starfire. Starfire. Final answer? Fuck yeah. I was like, wait a second. I remember this now all of a sudden from like Teen <laughs> Titan. For some reason, it like triggered a memory. I don't know what happened. <laughs> all right, Jeremiah. Number five. Edwin Jarvis serves as butler to what super team? Avengers. And with that, it is a tie. That was an easy one. Number six. Which of these superheroines was innovated by the soul of an ancient Egyptian princess after attempting suicide? Do not agree with the wording of this question for the record. I like how Jeremiah is hiding behind his <laughs> Exactly. So it's a woman. The question gave you that. So she killed herself. Tried to. And then she was taken over by this said suicide god. Egyptian. No, soul of an ancient Egyptian. Egyptian suicide princess. god. Soul of an ancient it, Egyptian princess. Suicide princess. Whatever Egypt. helps you. <laughs> Egyptian suicide princess. The multiple choice. Huntress, Black Canary, Wonder Woman, or Hawk Girl. 
Hawk Girl. One of the many incarnations of DC's Hawk Girl, Kendra Sanders' body was innovated by the soul of the ancient Egyptian princess after a traumatic event caused her to attempt suicide. I hope I'm pronouncing words right because it's not like my. You're strong doing suit. great, but. Right. Then again, I'm not the one that's great with pronunciation. <laughs> Next question, Jeremiah. Again, it's almost like you handed him easy ones, Pierre, because this is another old-timey question <laughs> that you would not have gotten. It's perfect. I could get oh, it wait. wrong. This is if, good. This is good. If you had them, he would have stole them. So he's getting points either way. Yeah. Do I jump into the lead now? If you get this one, you probably will. Who was the first costume superhero? Costume superhero oh. ever? Oh. This, the question is as simple as that. I don't like this question because the answer should be the Phantom. The Phantom was the first fictional hero to wear the skin-tight costume which has become a hallmark of comic book superheroes. Who were you torn between? Like, who would have been the other so, person? it said costume hero, not costume superhero. If it said costume superhero, that's Superman. But costume hero is the Phantom from Lee Fox's Phantom in 1933. Oh. Superman was an option. Here's a fun fact. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of King Features comics that washed up on a shore in Africa one time, and mm -hmm. an African tribe then adopted all the symbolism from the Phantom as their own symbolism. So there's an African tribe that has like Phantom shields and shit. That's really cool. Pierre, you might get this one actually, although it is another old timey question, oh, I would say. No. Number eight, who was Elvis Presley's favorite? favorite superhero oh, this is Jeremiah so easy in real life or in the comics in um, real life elvis yeah, presley had a favorite superhero. modeled part of his logo and part of his costume off of this character here you did not see the recent elvis film that i was forced to go to on my mother's birthday and it shows solid movie though gotta be the fun. dazzler <laughs> no <laughs> He was a big fan of the Dazzler. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. Not at all. I'm not even sure if the timeline... Oh. The timeline does not work. Whoa. Elvis was dead before Dazzler came out. <laughs> Yo. Oh, wow. Okay. Listen to the jailhouse rock. <laughs> all right, Pierre. <laughs> We're going to get demonetized if you do that again. <laughs> just think about time frame. And that's the one thing I'll say before you just blurt out an answer. Batman, Silver Surfer, The Green Hornet, or Captain Marvel Jr. <laughs> Staring at Jeremiah. <laughs> The Green Hornet. Ah! Jeremiah, do you it require is... the multiple choice again? Ah! To... No, no. It is Captain Marvel Jr. When did they come out? Captain Marvel Jr. came out from 1940 to 1954. When did Captain Marvel come out? Captain Marvel? Yeah. 1940 to 1954. Captain Marvel Jr. is a supporting character in the original Marvel family, and then he got his own title in 1944. Four? This uh, is Captain Marvel when it was a dude? This is Shazam. Oh, okay. This is Shazam. Shazam you will know him as Shazam. His oh, real shit. name was Captain Marvel. Wait, Did wait. that throw you off more, Pierre? Because you were thinking Marvel? Yeah, probably. Like you just X that one out, probably. But I just wouldn't see that as Shazam, the haircut. Mm -hmm. The cape. Yeah, makes sense now. Pierre, <laughs> we see where you headed wrong. We understand. Mm -hmm. But Jeremiah did steal the point, and he's about to get two more points with this one, which is arguably the most difficult question I've seen so far. And with that, what year was the first modern comic book printed? Modern? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. My answer would be 1975, but I'm going to say 1990. They're not classifying it the same. Give me the options. 1933, 38, 25, oh. or 17. Oh, this is stupid. Modern so, comic? 1933. I was expecting modern age. The first comic ever is what the question should have been. That's yeah. 1933. Oh. We will stay strong to usefultrivia.com. We will not argue their wording. Do, do I get a bonus point, point if I tell you what it was? You do not, but please tell me anyway. <laughs> Famous Funnies Carnival on Parade. So let's see what this says. The result was the first modern comic book containing reprints of newspaper comic strips. The experimental comic book titled Funnies on Parade was yeah, given away for free. Yeah. All right. Pierre, you ready to try and make a little comeback here? You are trailing uh, just slightly. You're doing great. Yes. Number 10. Who is Luke Cage's best friend and longtime partner in crime fighting? Yeah, because I know this. Who the fuck? I never watched Luke Cage. <laughs> you know this. All right, keep going. <laughs> you, you want multiple oh, choice right now? Okay, look, I'm going to throw a guess out there. And it's just, probably just, wrong. I'm not thinking about it. It's Iron okay. Fist. You fucking knew. <laughs> that was a strong assumption. I'm proud so. of you. They're best friends. They I don't know that. For I money. Just, I, <laughs> I don't even remember the question at this point. Number 11. Jeremiah. What super team includes a sentient tree-like creature? Oh, son of a bitch. The Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Man. Sorry, Pierre. <laughs> You're getting a little screwed. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> 
He's getting a lot weird. easier questions than me, though, to be fair. This is not what superhero gained his powers after being exposed to the Orb of Ra? Oh, I actually know this one, but I don't know his name. What? <laughs> I know it, or I don't know it. Describe but, him. But Maybe you know you'll it. work it out. He has a gold helmet. What else does he have? A cape. No. He does he help clothes, him. right? He does, like, his, like... <laughs> You're so off, but not that off is the thing. The Orb of Ra. You'll get it on multiple choice. I appreciate the effort. You're really trying. The guess that I want to do, I don't remember his name. If I say the guess that he wants, that counts as his answer. Okay. Are you thinking Dr. Fate? Yes. Okay. It's not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thank you. Right. I'm glad that at least we got it out because I knew it. It was on the tip of my tires. Couldn't remember it, but that was my guess. So <laughs> now's your multiple choice. Okay. Yeah. The I'll Orb of Ra, it. Hawkman, Doctor Strange, Metamorpho, or Iron Fist? Not Iron Fist. Nope. Not Metamorpho. I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, Jeremiah gave me a look. Do the Metamorpho. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. No. I honestly don't know who that is. First appeared in Showcase 72. <laughs> Metamorpho. No bonus points for Jeremiah, but a point for Pierre. Even yes. though we kind of helped him. <laughs> Billionaire I Simon Stagg sent adventurer Rex Mason to Egypt to retrieve the priceless Orb of Ra. I was just fucking around, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, though, it's only three points off. I'll take okay. it. Jeremiah, number 13. T'Challa, the king of Wakanda, is also known as what superhero? Jeez. The Black this is, Panther. This is not playing out for us here. Oh, Pierre, I'm sorry. I'd like to discredit him on that one. Do I get a bonus point for saying he was the first ever black superhero? His original name <laughs> was like... Cole Tiger. <laughs> nope. Okay. No. Nope. All right. Now Jeremiah, okay. you're not stealing <laughs> any more points out of the two you've already been handed. Pierre, who is Scar? <laughs> I damn well know you know. Who is Scarpia? I should know this. I've heard you say it. S K A A R. It doesn't ring a bell. All right, all right, all right. It's Hulk, son. It's Hulk, son. Okay. Number 15. What building served as the original headquarters for the Fantastic Four? Baxter Building. Quick answer there, Jeremiah. Pierre, you are down by four. I can smell a comeback. Pierre, which Green Lantern came first? Well, that's a tricky question. You see, no, it's Kyle. really not. It's really not, it, it, though. It's a tricky question. You want to know not. why? Because you could look at it as which Green Lantern was the first one to really leave an impact on a culture and a community. Or just name a Green Lantern that you know. Let's try that. Hal Jordan. Hold on. He's not the first one. There's another one. <laughs> There's, There's another, another one. one that was really the first. He was in the Justice Society. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now we're thinking. And his name was Alan. Alan Richman. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're completely wrong with the last name, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> it's Alan yes. Scott. Oh, good job, okay. Pierre. Two points to you, sir. Look at that. Honestly forgot about him. All right, Jeremiah. Which of the following heroes was not a member of the magical-powered Sentinels of Magic? So this one requires a multiple choice. Because Ooh. I can just say any character, and it won't matter uh. because it says the following. Okay. Dr. Fate, Raven, Zatanna, or Dr. Strange? Dr. Strange. This is a modern question, Pierre. I want you to think of comic covers. I think you can oh. pull this one off. Easy. Peach Mama, go. Who once served as Tony Stark's personal assistant? What? <laughs> you want me to guess this off of modern comics covers? So this will be another multiple choice two-pointer. What yeah. if I give him a hint? Okay. She gets I'll porked by a spider. <laughs> what type of hint was that? <laughs> All right. Let me rephrase that. Peter Parker has had sexual relations with this character who has once served as Tony Stark's personal assistant. You fuck Pepper? No. <laughs> this is a one served kind of thing, like when Pepper was mad. It was like a substitute, a personal assistant. Oh. But that counts one as his time. guess. So now you're going to have a type of thing. No, no, it wasn't my guess, Jeremiah. You stay out of this. You stay out of this. <laughs> this is between me and Kyle. Here, for one point, Mary Jane Watson, Jane Foster, Jean Grey, or Carol Danvers. And again, to repeat Jeremiah's hint, who has Peter Parker laid with? I love those yeah. options because he's laid with two of them. He's had sex with everyone. You have a, two chances. It's a 50-50 chance here. He's had sex with so many people. This okay, but let's think about this. Can Mary he, Jane, he, yes or no? He needs to get checked. Did he have relations with Mary Jane? Yes or no? Yes, yes, he did. Okay, so that's one possibility, right? Yes. Jane Foster. Did he have relations with Jane Foster? I hope not. Okay. Or will come <laughs> blast his fucking shit down. Let's what say no to that mean? one. So how about Jane Grey? I don't think so. I mean, she's already in bed with too many people. Wolverine and Cyclops yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Carol Dan. Yeah, I'm going to go with he laid with the Carol Danvers. And that's... Now, let me just say this real quick. We all know Mary Jane is like the obvious choice of the hint, right? Oh, yeah. So you are picking Carol Danvers, not being 100% sure that Peter Parker has laid with her. 
you were choosing the second least obvious. No, 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 no. that's not my pick. I'm just <laughs> thinking like, oh yeah, he probably had sex with her in space. I blame it on the fact that he was away from Mary Jane for so long. <laughs> there were no feelings. We now have to remember the question. Who would have been more likely to be Tony Stark's assistant? MJ doesn't have a science background. Think office work, you know, making appointments, stuff like that. I just don't see her really making that type of career. Choice. Pierre answered a goddamn oh. question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with Mary Jane. Okay. Jeremiah, what character teamed up with a different hero in almost every issue of The Brave and the Bold? Batman. Two points for Jeremiah. Pierre, who is mm. the Scarlet Witch's twin brother? Quicksilver? It is Pierre. I know. You didn't know that one, Jeremiah, did you? Oh, no. I didn't know. Pierre, if Jeremiah gets this question correct, you're going to lose probably even if he doesn't. What member of the Inhumans did Johnny Storm date? Crystal. He married her. You have officially won Trivia Night. Pierre, I'm going to give you one last question so Jeremiah can steal it. What is the best-selling comic book of all time? It's a specific number of this comic. He can win. He doesn't get multiple oh. choice, but if he gets this, he can win. So this is double points. Do not Google. Do not Google. He's Googling. Oh, you're right. No, no, no. I... He's Googling. I was going to pick this. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He's Googling. I think I got to put this thing goes on. Oh, okay. oh. Hopefully Fantastic. It stretch over. It's not Detective Comics. No, it is not. <laughs> It is X-Men number one from 1991, <laughs> written by Chris Claremont with art by Jim Lee. Sold 8 million copies at a time when there were only 4 million comic collectors in the world. I'd like to say something. Of course. You I blame Google. <laughs> okay. Because I would have gotten that right if the Google search worked. Pierre, great job though. Solid mm -hmm. job. Yeah. I do want to give you praise because you deserve it. You did very good. Very, very good. I am proud of you. I appreciate jeremiah jeremiah you are the winner of trivia night Woo! today so you won the battle but not the war i want like a title belt to come down right <laughs> panaloids champion right here i can put the logo over your face That's about all I <laughs> and with that panaloids podcast panaloids podcast panaloids podcast You know what I should have done? I should have switched them on the two of you and not said anything. Obviously, you're the one looking at him. You could just give me the harder question. Yeah, what was I doing? If oh. I start winning now, I know what's happening. Panelist podcast. No, Pierre. No, no, no. It's a pink nose. Do you want the easier one or not? Panelist podcast. <laughs> if it's eight o'clock at night, I would like you to answer the question. <laughs> all right, all right. Panelist podcast. Did you hear Maria? <laughs> she just came into the room. She goes, don't refer to it as port. <laughs> <laughs> in yeah. your defense, he was showing rather obvious pig items of pigs pooping <laughs> yeah. and pig noses. So. That's true. So it affected you. You had pig on the mind. Panelist podcast. No, no, put that back up. I'm at 21 and Pierre's at 16. Shit, I was counting them as... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you counted wrong that whole time? <laughs> I don't know. I had it in my head that every row was 10. Oh, I counted 10 across. So no one won. No, you still lost. <laughs> I was very confused because you were like, you're at 32, and then two questions later, you're at 40. I was like, what? yeah, no, yeah, I'm doing too many things at once. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, my body hurts from that. Only five points off now that I'm looking at it correctly.